Let's touch on the culture of Brooklyn and then I'll talk about my life that I didn't know. And in fact, I'll just go ahead and do that and then I'll define it so we can kind of think on it. So, most of my life, I was born and raised in one church. I only went to two churches in my entire life. The church that I'm passionate over now and the church I grew up in. Now, the church I grew up in, this is the worst thing. I had no idea I was raised and brought up in a church cult or Christian church cult. Although that's an oxymoron, it is what it is, and that's what's stated. Here's the definition of a cult. The English word cult comes from Latin word cultus, which is a form of the verb cultier, which means to worship or give reference to a deity or a god or goddess or gods. Now, the present day definition, a cult of Christianity is a group of people which claiming to be Christian embraces a particular doctrinal system taught by an individual leader group of leaders or an organization which denies one or more of the central doctrines of the Christian faith as taught in the 66 books of the Holy Bible. Cults grow out of and or deviate from a previously established religion designed for mixed signals because the system taught by a leader or leadership targets people broken, poor, uneducated, don't know any better. Seeking something. Therefore, for Christians, quote unquote, the word cult refers to or means non Christian or without the true knowledge of God. How would they start? Cults start from one but cannot be recognized as a cult until he or she can get together and gather, following, presenting this new way, this new life, this new calling, this new word of God for these select chosen people, supposedly. This group, this leader or leaders use people and tell them that there's this new message that's called by God. I want us to keep in mind that, again, Satan was in heaven. Satan is a fallen angel. Satan is the ruler of this world. If you don't understand and believe that what I'm saying, you can reference that too, you can look that in the Bible for those that like to reference and quote things uh, from the Bible. I believe that it is Ephesians 2, 2 that states this. When in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. You can also find too, you reference again, John chapter 12, verse 31, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. The prince we're speaking of is the evil. Now because of that, this prince is the ruler of the world. Satan is the real world. Satan can disguise himself as light. If we're not taught discernment, if we're not shown the way how to have discernment, how to rely on the Holy Spirit, it's easy to fall victim to growing up living, believing, faithfully in a cult church, in a system, which is a false teaching. Now, as, as I mentioned earlier, this stung, and this was embarrassing for me, but he is, the Lord allowed that to happen. I was preserved for this reason. There has been movements in this world for some time that recognize this. A lot of this happened with Christian cults and around the segregation time, around the 60s, around the 70s. There was different movements at that time to try to ban Christian cults. I'm not here to try to ban any type of Christian cults. God wants people to be educated, he wants people to be aware. You don't want to listen to me further, consider this. Why would God use 
or subdued message that deviates from discussing and talking about the way, which is his son, Jesus Christ. Why would he waste his time? Why would Jesus waste his time? Hanging on that cross, bleeding, dying, the thorns on his head. See, the problem with Christian cults is they don't want to teach about Christ. They'll talk about Christ, but they won't teach you about Christ. Because if they teach you about Christ, you now have been taught now how to rely on the Holy Spirit. If you know now how to rely on the Holy Spirit, therefore you do not need that church, you do not need that Christian leader, you do not need that pastor, that preacher, whoever. Because you tapped into what was given to us from the resurrection, which is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Not the controller. He didn't call it the controller. He called it the comfort that was given to each one of us. So why would he send the comforter at that time and say, oh, you know what? I made a mistake. I, 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 that, that's just not right. My people don't have it. Let me send them some chosen message, some chosen leader. The fact of the matter is, it's around the world and it's been around the world a while. Now, a church I grew up in, if you're watching, most of you probably still go there. I don't need to call a name out. You know what it is. Later, I would definitely read and touch on some major ones that most people know that are Christian cults. One big major one is Jehovah's Witness. They know it. See, the problem, but what we should consider is why a Christian cult is so bad. Because most people say, oh, well, it's not that bad. You turned out to be pretty good. That you see of them. A lot of things that I did that I am not happy and proud of, no, I want to point the finger at somebody else and say, oh, they were the reason why I did it. But I will say this. You were not encouraged enough to do or know to do the right things through the Holy Spirit. It was a system that was designed, that was set up. So you knew how to abide in this system, not how to abide, not how to abide in the world. Case in point, consider this. You take someone that's in the military. They've been in the military most of their life. The military does not teach or train you, if you will, how to be a civilian. It teaches and trains you how to be a soldier. Therefore, when you get out, or if you're able to get out, you have an extremely difficult time living in this world because you don't know how to be a, soul, a, soul, a civilian. Simple things, paying your bill, knowing how to get water turned on, energy, credit, life, food, simple things, communication, relationship, understanding people. No, they didn't teach you that. They taught you how to be a soldier. Therefore, what happens is they typically go crazy or they have to re-enlist back into the military because that's all they know. Consequently, with a Christian, or with a, pardon me, a church cult, they go back because they don't know how to live. They weren't taught how to be free through Christ, how to know who the Holy Spirit is, when the Holy Spirit is dealing with you. No, the system is designed that all the power is centralized. The central power goes to the front. It goes to whoever the preacher is that's up there and whoever the leader is. That all your faith goes there. Why is this bad? Oh, because it's damaging. For the most part, you're going to find that most of them are overwhelmed with probably majority women. Why? Because most of the women feed on the charismatic leader that's in the front. And if they do find themselves when they are married, the husband typically finds work where he has to work and he's not there. And if he is there, he's, he's remotely somewhere else because he sees what's going on, but he can't fight it. When his wife is in the dark around the bushes or somewhere talking to a charismatic leader for spiritual help because they're going and they're facing through a lot. Again, why would he send his son here to comfort and say, okay, you know what? He not enough. Let me, let me why don't you go ahead and, and just go to the to the to the preacher. That's all call the preacher all the time. Put your faith in all the preachers. All the preachers, all the churches. 
is incorrect. Satan has so much power, he can disguise that into light. Why? To direct you away. He will talk all day long about Christ, but he will not teach you about Christ. Because if he teaches you about Christ, now he is exposed. You now know the way. If you know the way, you now enter into the kingdom now and later. If you don't know the way, you're confused. It's destruction. His whole goal is destroy, to get back at God. So as we call it saying, oh, we are chosen and we're the way, we're not in fact chosen and we're the way. We're chosen, chosen for destruction, to be victimized. There's so many people in this world that are hurt and do not go to churches for that reason. Can't stand it. In fact, I didn't even want to start this series. Didn't want to do it. When God revealed this to me through the Holy Spirit, I said, well, I got it. It's enough. I don't need to share this with nobody else. Why? You can't change anything. It is what it is. Nobody going to believe. I'm already getting shunned away. Another fact. And I had stuff written on. Thank you, Lord. You just moving. You just going. I don't need to write it down. According to your will, it is being done. My own family I grew up in. Again, I was born and raised in one church. Many of them are still alive. Many of them are running churches. It's preachers. The church I was there. Because I don't go there, they don't care about me. Not reaching out, my father still goes there. They shun him away. They treat him as if I don't exist, as if I don't have kids, as if I'm not married. How are you going to tell me that some church that's called by God that knows the quote-unquote way out of this entire world, showing love by shunning someone away, because they're not doing what they want them to do. Again, that is an obvious reason that that is not led by Christ. The church is led, that system is led, designed from the beginning by Satan to destroy, corrupt, and to control you. If I can control you to listen to me just standing up and standing down, I can control you in songs. I can control you this way. I can control you now when to come to church, how to come to church. What address, how to dress, how much money to give them. I can then scrutinize to make you feel better about not coming to church, about how you look, how you carry yourself, how you talk to your wife, how you talk to your husband. I can control you in and out. You won't even know how to operate or think in this world. All you will know is the church that I created. You won't know anything. When you go and try to have a conversation, you won't be able to have a conversation no more than maybe two minutes. The rest will always be directed to the people that attend that church or that church. Because it's a system, it's a game by Satan designed for you to fail. Now again, I'm not trying to go and attack people. This is not no attack game. This is for you to decide, open your eyes up and forward. This is not to bring people into the church that I passed. It has no bearing on that. Believe me, you. God wants you to know Christ, Jesus Christ, not the church.